What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 19 video. EA have released another Prime Moments icon and it is Emmanuel Petit. Um, we've also got a new SBC, One Club. And uh, let's take a look at the One Club SBC. Clubs exactly one. Rare players minimum one. 70 rated, 90 chemistry. I'm not even going to front. You know how expensive this is going to make certain gold players? It's going to make some players extremely expensive. I don't even know if I have the capabilities to complete this SBC. I tell you this. I don't think it's worth it for... Clubs exactly what? For a rare election player, that's a 30,000 coin pack. Now, I've got a lot of Arsenal players here. I could do it with Arsenal. Oh, I could do it with Bournemouth. Let's do it. Let's do it with Bournemouth. Let's let's see what we got going on here. We throw him in. Um, the thing is, like, these players, they're just going to become crazy expensive. Uh, let's put Nathaniel Klein in and Diego Rico. Uh, we could put in Cook. And we can put in Fraser over on the left-hand side. We can throw Sermon in there. Uh, right mid, we've got Stanislas. And then up front, guys, we can throw in Wilson and King. Now, I am well above the threshold for the rating. Do I think this is worth it? The answer is no. No, I don't. Now, is Petit somebody that's already been released from the Icon sets? Or is Petit a brand new... Um, like prime icon moments. Let, let me see here. Vieira, Hullet, Moore, Maldini, Pele, Cruyff, Eusebio. He wasn't in the first set. This might be one of those ones, guys. Petit actually might be a prime icon moments that hasn't been seen in the game yet. Um, the second set, no, he was. So he was in the very first set of players. What we've got today, though, guys, we're going to go and take a look at uh, Emmanuel Petit. We're going to go and look at what kind of price he'll be. I want to have a look as well at his card. I haven't really taken a look at his in-games. And as a CDM, you know, hopefully he's uh, he's solid as. So high, high work rates. I suppose that's fair for Petit. He did use to bomb forward for Arsenal a lot. 6-1, three-star, three-star. Um, I mean, that is a spectacular card in many regards. Like His pace is great. His defending is very good. His physicals are exceptional. Reactions, ball control and composure are very good. Um, his short passing is good. His vision's a little low. I don't think that's necessarily fair. I, I, I'll be honest, I think they've done him a little bit dirty on passing. Um, his shooting is a bit weird as well. Good shot power and long shots. He did. He had a banger on him. That's fair to say. Um, I feel like his passing probably deserves to be a bit higher than that. You know, as an avid Arsenal fan, I used to watch Petit and Vieira marshal our midfield for a decade, basically. Um, I think it was a little less than that for, for the pair of them. But um, yeah, this is this is an all right card. 11 segments for Petit, which is the same as Van Nistelrooy. That could be bad news. Humble beginnings, rising talent, world class and iconic. It's fair. 83 with two informs. 84 with two informs, 85 twice with two informs, 86, 87 and 88 with two informs. It is an identical SBC set to Rude van Nistelrooy, who is currently selling on the market for, not on the market, who is currently, um, you know, an SBC for 1.6 million. Do I think Manuel Petit is worth 1.6 million? <sighs> The answer, honestly, is no, I don't. No, I don't. I mean, it's a good card. It's not worth that much. Now, obviously, the, the benefits that you get is that, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, there's only three of his cards on the market. And, like, obviously, the benefits of completing the SBC is you could do it with untradables. You could do it for a little less than cost price. You get packs back. But when you're looking at 1.6 million, give or take, for an untradable petite, with some packs back, and you might be able to do it cheaper because you crafted some cards, you got some duplicate untradables, etc. Um, the fact that it's only two million on the market, I'm pretty confident that it will be way lower than two million in you know a week, and then another week after that it will be even lower, and then another week after that it will be even lower. And Petit's prime card, guys, is a million coins. Uh, how much better is his? Um, 
is his other card. So he's got on the prime card, four pace, four shooting, one passing, one physical, two defending, one dribbling. So what they've really done is they've, they've boosted heavily his pace and shooting, which for a CDM isn't necessarily super important. Like this is already a good card. Um, you know, when you've got two on defending, one on physical, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't see the value in that icon petite. Now, if you're a big Arsenal fan, if you're a French French that fan, if, if you're just looking for a massive, massive um, CDM, you know, obviously he's nice and tall, uh, then, then go nuts with that petite. For me personally, I don't think he's like, he's super valued. Especially when given, look at this, 2.1 million for team of the year Kante. Now, yeah, he, do, he doesn't have the height of Petit and he doesn't get the icon links that everybody gets. But when you're talking about this card for 2.1 million or that SBC for 1.6 million plus packs back, for me, it's, it's not a card that's good enough to make me think, yes, I want to part with my coins. That's that's what I'd say. And and if, if you if you've been waiting for this card, go nuts, man. I'm not gonna say don't do this card. I'm not gonna say that he'll play bad because he probably won't. He'll probably play probably will play amazing. I'm not gonna discourage you from doing these cards. You know, I, I think Sadorf is very good value for money. Uh, I think that's an exceptional card for what what Sadorf coming in at. Um, 1.3 million. So you know, 300,000 coins cheaper. Obviously, a different position. Um, but a solid card. Van Nistelrooy is just honestly way, way overpriced. And then Cannavaro, I actually think Cannavaro is pretty decent. 1.1 million for Cannavaro. Um, again, it's a decent card. And even though he's short, he's got such good jumping and heading that I wonder how much of that counteracts his, you know, his being short. So I don't know. I, I personally, I'm, I'm not trying to be, be a downer on it, you know, uh, but I personally think that petite card is a little bit overpriced. Now, for the rest of today's video, guys, wait, have they done more two-for-one lightning rounds? They might have done. They've, they've put these half-price packs in again, which, as I said yesterday, and as I didn't do yesterday, I'm, I'm not going to do these. I, I hate the fact that they're giving us half-coin packs instead of half, you know, um, other packs. Now, on the contrary, if, the, if they were buy one, get one freeze, like the two for ones were, if I bought a mega pack for 35,000 coins or for 700 thief points and got another mega pack for free that's stored in the club, I would go and indulge in these because then I can open them at my own leisure. Um, but what we got for the rest of today's video, guys, is we've got the Rare Electron Players pack that we got for the SBC. There are brand new Man of the Matches in packs as well, along with obviously a huge team of the week. Um... Sorry, not a huge team of the week, a huge bonus team. I don't, I don't know really how to explain it. Um, the best of team. So, you know, we've got the special Neymar, Ronaldo, Hazard, the Hair. We've got a man of the match, 94 Suarez, that is a phenomenal card. I'm currently in halfway through a draft and I have him in my club. Getting Costa in there is pretty good. Um, yeah, I have him in my club now. I don't really have that much uh, trade pile space. But we're going to go through all of these packs. Uh, I saved them for today's video. Um, if, if it's not a walkout, I'll skip it. Because otherwise, we're going to be here forever with how long packs take to open sometimes. And uh, if I get... I mean, that's bad, isn't it? If I get a walkout or something, or a big card that's a duplicate, I'll have to consider discarding something on my trade path. Funnily enough, somebody actually tweeted me earlier. There is a way... Oh, is that an orange? No. There is a way that you can get a more than 100 items onto your trade pile. I just don't know how to do it yet. I haven't quite figured it out. He didn't really give me like the greatest detail of, of how to do it. So that 84ZH. Wait, I got... Well, hold, hold on, hold on. I got squad fitness cards on the trade pile. Hold on. We can get rid of those. No problems. I didn't think... I, I thought I had nothing but 84s and above, actually. If I've even got 83s, yeah, the 83s, you guys can go. Um... Even even that even Robertsons they can uh, oh damn I got eighty ones and eighty twos on there as well oh now then come on now let's send those back into the club and then send those back into the club let's get rid of Shaw and Subasic let's get rid of all of those there you go now we've got plenty of trade pass space to open these uh, packs up with which is quite nice um, and let's uh, you have some items to deal with let's uh, let's see if we can get some luck from these packs we'll pop I, I'm just gonna keep eighty fours and above. 
uh, because I've got a lot of ultimate packs coming, which means hopefully some lots of duplicate cards that are going to be nice and high rated to allow me to do a prime icon moments SBC when the right one comes out for me. And, and I think that's that's important. Like, obviously, I'm super happy that EA are releasing one a day at the moment. You know, we're two days in a row of EA releasing one a day, which is good. Um, I hope they keep releasing them more and more and more. Of course, it will have some impact on values of informs and values of 84s and 85s and 86s and stuff um but what i would say is because we are due so many things and because foot birthday is likely to be coming in about two weeks time and team of the season won't be far behind it i would say don't rush into these icon sbcs they're there for the rest of the game now you know you got you got a lot of time to prepare yourself for the right one, instead of just thinking, oh man, 1.6 million, get some packs back, I've got loads of players in my club that have just been sitting around doing nothing, don't, don't rush in, because that's exactly what EA want you to do, EA want you to be like, oh, new shiny card, let me get it, and then when a better new shiny card comes in a day, a week, or a month, you're going to be like, oh no, I've already got rid of all my things, I need to spend some money to get some more coins, and I understand the concept of you know, I think we've been through this a lot this year on this channel. I understand the concept of you've got to enjoy the game for the now. You know, there's no point holding on and 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 then eventually being like, okay, now I'm going to get involved in some players when the game's almost done. you you got to make sure you're enjoying the game the, the right way at the right time. I just personally don't believe that any of these icons, prime icon moments released so far, I personally don't believe that they are the right ones for at least me to invest my coins into. Um, what I would want is an icon that's really going to bump my team up. So we got, I think I've got nine ultimate packs. Now, yesterday I opened those ultimate packs just off camera. I didn't even have my Elgato turned on. Uh, and I did pack an icon. And when the icon came out, obviously I was fuming with myself. That I was like, oh my God, like I have no, no way to show this. However, fortunately enough, it was a terrible icon. Um, it was Michael Balak, baby card. Uh, so it is one of the cheapest icons that you can get <clears throat> we're gonna get an inform there as well um yeah it was one of the cheapest icons you can get and i was like hey that's fine i'll use that icon in a prime icon moments sbc somewhere down the line um these packs so far guys all of those 50s and all of those hundreds nine in total no yeah nine in total we've got nothing done for this is uh our final 100k pack not a single walkout yet not even a board in that 100k pack. That is pretty bad. And I think that leaves me with 10 ultimate packs. How do I not have Ryan in my club currently? That's crazy. Um, yeah, I think that leaves me with 10 ultimate packs. Yes, it does. There you go. 10 ultimate packs. And we are going to open all 10 right here, right now. And we still don't have a walkout. And once again, if I don't get a walkout, I am absolutely going to... Um, I'm absolutely going to skip the pack i mean that is terrible isn't it an 85 and 84s sorry an 85 and two 84s and then it descends into just absolute nothing after that hopefully one of these nine ultimate packs will contain a big card a walkout would be a nice way to start like what we this i'm 12 packs in now i don't know how i think i had five 50s four 100s Maybe a little bit, maybe, maybe 650s and 4100s and 10 ultimates. And we're so far through all of the 50s and all of the 100s. And we've got eight ultimates left. And we still haven't hit a walkout. And that's now going to leave us with seven ultimates left. And still no walkout. It would be interesting to me to, to know, to understand if... Oh, look at that. To understand if... At 6 p.m. when new content drops, the pack weight drops with it. Because this is this is absurd. This is a super, super low end. Here we go. We get our first walkout. Are we going to hit the big time? It is an inform walkout. It's Polish. It's going to be Milik. It's not going to be the big time. Um, if I want to get a Napoli uh, walkout inform, I want it to be Koulibaly, 91 rated. Uh, <sighs> Jesus. I'm not even hitting 85s, guys. This is, this is terrible. This is terrible. Um, six to go, though. There is still hope for, for a big card. Yeah, back-to-back -back walkouts? No, just kidding. Um, yeah, if I want to get a special Polish striker in my pack, just give me that 92 Lewandowski. 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 
Hey, at least we've got two 85s in that pack. That's a little something. If I don't fill up my trade pile with 84s and 85s, I'll be shocked. Five ultimate packs remaining, guys. Uh, I wouldn't mind, like I say, like that Luis Suarez. We get ourselves another walkout. This is our second walkout. It's another inform. Is it going to be a high-end inform? English, centre-back. I don't even know who that is. Is oh my, It's the, another 84. So we're yet to pack any of the new... Not new, but Tarkovsky is 85, sorry, not 84. Uh, we're yet to pack any of the, uh, you know, the, the special team that's in packs. Four more ultimates to go, guys. We've got two walkouts. They've both been low-end in forms. We've not got a single gold walkout card from any of the packs yet. In terms of standard gold cards, 85 rated has been the highest rated. And that, for me, is shocking. Let's see with the final three. If we can hit an icon, if we can hit a walkout. We got another walkout. Here's, a, here's, a, here's our third. All right, we got our first gold walkout. The sad part is, and that's going to be Chesney, because it, the sad part is is that both Messi, Ronaldo, and Neymar, which are like three of the biggest um, cars, even Bale as well, Messi, Ronaldo, Neymar, Bale, Pogba, Mbappe, most of the biggest walkouts that are in packs right now are special cards. Um, which sucks because when you get the gold walkout, you know it's going to be pretty bad. Uh, here we go with another ultimate pack. I mean, we got 186, 185 in form, 184 in form, and that is it from walkouts. Not just from nine ultimate packs so far, but also from a mix of 10, 50Ks and 100Ks. And our final ultimate pack here, guys, to end off today's video is also not going to be a walkout. I have, I have no words. This is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to look at that. D leave a thumbs up if you want. Don't if you don't. I'll pr is this worth a thumbs up? I don't know, man. Thank you for watching, and I'm out. Peace.